ladies welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing my July favorites I know that I'm probably not going to get this up right at the end of July I'm crossing my fingers I do but if not you know I'm just letting you guys know that this is my July favorites and I wanted to share them with you I don't have many favorites to share this month just mainly because I've been so busy with you know my personal life and I've had family come visit on top of that I had a baby this month as well so I've just been all over the place I didn't really get to experiment with much makeup but I do have a few things that I did end up using a lot this month. I'm gonna month. start off with sharing my face products first and the two things that I wanted to share are some foundations slash well not really foundations but they're mainly a BB cream and a tinted moisturizer and I have been using two of them lately I know I had featured this elf tinted moisturizer in my June favorites and I have been using it non-stop this month as well so I wanted to bring it back and let you guys know that this stuff is the business on top of using this I've also been using my Rimmel BB cream and I've actually been mixing these two together a lot this month I think this is the only two things that I've worn on my face as a foundation the coverage isn't too bad it is like I say a lighter coverage than a regular foundation but it definitely doesn't make my face feel cakey I do have it on today and this is all I've worn for all of July I love the consistency of it it isn't too thick or anything it blends really nicely I just use my fingers to blend out the product and I make sure I mix a little bit of both on my fingers and then I'll just like you know apply it that way I've definitely been loving these two together and I am going to continue using this combo the rest of the summer thing I wanted to share is this Sonia Kashuk hidden agenda concealer palette and I got this in the middle of July I actually got it for my birthday and I have been using this non-stop this month. I do have this palette in 07 light. I do love this palette for giving my under eyes that bright and look. And it does come with three concealers and it also comes with a setting powder which I absolutely which I absolutely These love. These are the three concealers that it comes with and then that is a setting powder that it comes with as well. I mainly use this color right here to hide any dark circles that I do have underneath my eyes which has definitely come in handy you know since I am taking care of a newborn right now I am always up every two to three hours in the middle of the night to feed him and I wake up looking like I'm pretty much dead so that has definitely helped out with you know concealing those and then I like to use this shade right here to sometimes conceal the dark circles as well and also to conceal like blemishes that I do have on my face and I've noticed that it does have amazing coverage for that and I like to apply this lighter shade underneath my eyes as well just to give it that more brightened appearance and then of course the setting powder I set on the under eyes so it doesn't crease and yes amazing I don't know why I am now discovering this but I'm absolutely in love and if you guys are looking for a concealer that you know you want to use to cover up dark circles or anything like that this is a go-to I definitely recommend for you to give this a try Also for the face I do have a couple bronzers and uh, a blush to show you first thing I want to show you comes from this elf palette and I got this elf palette when there was like a sale going on but it came with a bunch of blushes and bronzers as well as eyeshadows. The reason why it is one of my favorites is for the blushes and the bronzers that it has came with and I have been absolutely loving a few of the bronzers. Like I said this summer I've been doing a lot of the whole bronzy type look. With that I've been using this bronzer and this bronzer as blushes. It has definitely given me this really pretty glow to my skin. I've also been obsessing over another blush bronzer duo and it is by Sonia Kashuk once again and this one is in 53 glow and I actually been using this for contouring it's so crazy I do have it on and it does not look muddy on my face it does look like it has a shimmer to it but when I do apply it on the hollows of my cheeks it doesn't give that appearance it's so weird I 
can't really explain it. The blush is super pretty as well. I do have it on and it gives it a nice glow, but it's not overbearing. Moving on to the eyes, I do have a few things I wanted to share. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I do have the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I've been using this for quite a while, but at first I was kind of sketchy about it because I didn't know if I liked it, and then when I started using it more and more, I started getting the hang of you know figuring out how to use it and I've been loving it ever since usually on days that I am trying to you know just not wear too much makeup but I still wanted to get my brows looking semi-decent I will just apply this and that's it and I don't have to like do anything else to them they look amazing that way I love the fact that it does have these like microfiber hairs in them which attach to my actual brow hairs and it gives it more of like a thicker appearance that I do have more hair than usual I guess you can say this has definitely been my go-to for brows lately especially since I haven't really been doing much to them if I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. I also wanted to point out a liner that I've been loving and this is the Milani infinite liquid liner and it's just this really pretty blue color and I actually have a picture on my Instagram of me applying this I applied it above my black liner which I absolutely love that look and I know it's like one of like the in things this summer so I definitely had to give it a try I've also been loving two eyeshadow palettes the two that I wanted to share are both by the bomb cosmetics I actually purchased these on Outlook and I was super excited about getting both of them because I've been wanting these two palettes for the longest and I've honestly been obsessing and in love with this meat matte nude palette it just has a bunch of pretty amazing matte shades and I have pretty much almost dipped in every single one of them and have nothing bad to say about them at all obviously they are my favorites but um they're super easy to blend out and I've been loving this all eyeshadow matte look lately so I have been using this also the nude tude palette I have been using as well and this one I just about dipped in every single shade as well they are amazing shades they blend out really nicely as well and I love that they do include some matte shadows in here as well as like the shimmer shadows are amazing I like to use them as highlight or as you know shadow to apply on my eyelids yeah I've been so happy that I finally got my hands on these palettes and got them for a pretty awesome deal as well. makeup product that I wanted to share with you is a lip product and is a lipstick by LA colors and this lipstick is in natural really pretty natural shade I have it on my lips right now and it's definitely one of those your lips but better type shades right when I started using this I was impressed I wasn't expecting much out of it because I did get this at the Dollar Tree but I was impressed when I applied it and I just wore it for like two weeks straight I actually have six more shades that I haven't dug into yet and I am thinking about making a video on them I'm not quite sure if I should or not but um if they are worth it because I haven't swatched them yet see as you could see right here here's the rest of the shades that I got and I'm going to swatch them see how I like them and if they're worth making a video I definitely will I got these at the Dollar Tree I'm like a Dollar Tree fiend I love going to the Dollar Tree to find makeup for a very good bargain and I end up getting some super good finds when one I more favorite that I do want to share and it is these muscle tank tees that I've been wearing I know I usually do wear them like all the time anyways but I found another reason why I do love them it's because ever since I had my son I have been breastfeeding and I've discovered wearing these muscle tees have definitely helped with an easier access to get to the boob area when I'm feeding him so I'm not having to like lift my shirt up or anything like that and it's been amazing I've been wearing nothing but muscle tees ever since he and came. I do want to share one more favorite with you guys. Last but not least favorite is my son. I just wanted to quickly show him off to you guys. I know um, a lot of you have been following me on my journey, you know, throughout my pregnancy on my channel. I just wanted to show him off real quick with you guys and show you that he's here and I'm just so excited that he is here. I will be doing a more in-depth video on my labor and delivery experience and like my postpartum like appointment when that time comes. So I should have that video filmed for you guys around next month because that's when my postpartum appointment is. Yeah, I'm just so excited that he's 
here. That is everything for this video. If you guys have any questions about the makeup products that I've mentioned, then just comment down below and let me know what's up. Like this video if you enjoyed my favorites. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll also list my Twitter, my Facebook page, and my Instagram around this area, so definitely go check that out. I'll also have all those links down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!